Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Let's get right into the reading. Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, messages for the Taurus Collective. What messages do you have for the Taurus? Okay, so <clears throat> you or someone could be seeing something from a different perspective, okay, um, as to why you were stuck, what you were stuck in. You got cancer energy here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I said cancer. You could be dealing with one. Pisces, seven of cups. Yeah, this illusion There could have been multiple opportunities as well to where you were uh, trying to decide on. Okay. What else for Taurus? Um, you may have recently had to set boundaries with someone. Could be you could have gotten advice um, about this. Yeah, because it you decided to take a look into what you were investing, and it turned out to be a burden. Mm -hmm. They go to uh, Cancer Energy. Yeah, so. King of Cups. It's King of Cups. Hmm. What's the hang one? Yeah, yeah. Your spirit guy is telling you to look at something from a different perspective and move on. They're guiding you away from this. Set boundaries. What's the Eight of Swords? Whatever this is. Yeah, because there's a tower moment here. That's what got you all in your head. Mm-hmm. What's this tower? Aries. You have Aries heavy in your chart. But it has something to do with your position. Who's this emperor? Yeah, a choice that needed to be made. There's a choice. What's the Seven of Cups? There's balance, though, coming to this situation. A temperance. You're needing to settle your mind and surrender. Yep. Cut something off. What's the Queen of Swords? King of Wands. This King of Wands. Hmm. It's Aries. Clarify the King of Wands. Yep. This person could have been your wish fulfillment once upon a time. But you could have cut this person off with communication and this and now you're content with this nine of cups. What's the nine of cups? Uh oh. What's the nine of cups? Oh, too many. Somebody could have definitely been um sneaking to uh, betray you. What's the nine of cups? If somebody is, they're sneaking to betray you. Mhm. Mm this was an ongoing battle, but. It was something that it's coming to an end. This is this is 
it's like you always had to have your guards up or maybe this person always had uh always had like always was ready like in a fighting like mentally in a fighting stance like constantly at a battle with you what's the seven of pentacles Mm-hmm. Five of Swords. Like I said, fighting. You all could have been fighting about finances. What's this Five of Swords? Mm-hmm. Sudden change, just like the tower. The wheel is turning. Change. This could have been a cycle constantly going on and on and on that you're needing to break free from if you have not. Spirit is guiding you away from this. Who's this King of Cups? Wheel of Fortune, that's you. The Chariot. This King of Cups could be coming in. What's the Chariot with the King of Cups? New love. Mm -hmm. The Empress at the bottom of the deck. Yep. They want to work together with you. That's water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So you're being guided away from something in order to go towards. You're getting, being guided away from someone. In order to go go uh get what you actually deserve, who you actually deserve. Make sure I write that down. I don't know where I'm gonna title that, but Horrible at titles. <laughs> I just read. Get it up with. <laughs> but no. Um, somebody just had their walls up. Like this King of Wands. They always were so rough. And so ready to just. Always be combative. It seems like. This person wanted to be single for, for two. Okay. Because the for one was. They was always combative seemed like. But they just wanted to be. Um, single really. Okay, this this fight, this fight, whatever this fight about what you decided to look at and and, and analyze, um, brought about a change. What's the will of fortune? There you go, Taurus. Mhm. Mm this commitment. Yep. This is a lesson for someone. All right. I mean, it's a lesson. Could be for you. Clear for the hair front. We all got to go through our lessons. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands. Clear for the hair front. Yeah, Spirit is pushing you forward. Yep. Ten of Swords to this ending to end something. Yeah. What else for the Taurus? Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Let me pull some of these um, moon cards to see. Give you more of a uh, in depth of who you could be dealing with. Holy Spirit messages for the Taurus. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So we got Aquarius and Cancer so far. 
You could have Libra in your north node. Step out of your comfort zone. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Like I, I thought anyway. A Aries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay, let's pull some time cards. Give yourself more love, more self-love. Once that happens, then something is going to happen within a year. Something is going to happen before February. Okay, something's happening before the end of the year. End of the year. <laughs> end of the year. And something is happening within the next three weeks. It's better to give this more time to come in. Mm -hmm. it, you got to give yourself more self-love in order for this to come in anyways. Like we all know or we all learning to not complete, keep on repeating cycles. Because once you keep repeating cycles, you'll never really for real learn. But you're you going to learn one day for whoever I'm talking to. Like it's it's. We know about these cycles. And once you wake up to the fact that this is what is going on, you'll stop it. And that will be that lesson that you have learned. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh. Messages for the Taurus, Holy Spirit. Messages for the Taurus. Caregiver, you may, it's in reverse. Caregiver support, you may feel as if that you don't have much support when it comes to family and friends. Communicate, uh, communi gosh, communicator messages in reverse. You're not listening to your spirit guide. Are you, that, that's what it could have been in the past. There's messages coming in and it's like they're blocked. Maybe somebody is doing this to you. They're trying to. Block these messages. Spirit God, right here. Shaman. Your spirit guys is trying to tell you something. They're trying to tell you to move forward. And it's only going to take you to do it. Writer. In reverse. Words. You all, some of you could be writers. Okay? But that's just the basic of it. What I'm getting is... It's hard for you. It's like a lot going on to where your mind is cluttered right now. And it seems as if that everything, all of the, all of this communication that you're trying to get from your spirit guides is so jumbled up because you have a lot of betrayal and a lot of, a lot of people around you that don't mean you no good, basically. But it's just time to just surrender and to listen because... Spirit is definitely working behind the scenes. You're, you're moving forward, but it's always a possibility for someone to, to repeat a cycle if you don't learn, okay? So take note of this and also give yourself time because you're not perfect. We're all learning this life. Okay. All right, Taurus, that was your reading. If this resonated, don't forget to comment down below, like, share, and subscribe to my video, and I will talk to you all soon.